Tip number 19. I've talked a bit about, about it before. Often, very, very often, when you start talking with a real estate agent, you will say, my name is Mark Musso, I'm a real estate investor, and we're looking at buying properties in this region. Uh, we're looking for properties that have a GRM of seven or less, a good cap rate, and we're looking also for properties that the vendor will carry a mortgage. Oh, well, Mark, you know, I understand that that's what you're looking for, but I have a good property, very good property, but the vendor is not willing to carry. It's part of negotiations. I really don't care what the real estate agent is telling me right now. Here's the reason for is that it's, imagine the real estate agent is looking at you and saying, well, if this guy needs the vendor to carry, that means he has no money to put down. Do we agree? If he has no money to put down, he's not serious. He's not a real investor. Well, guess what? This is where you come back. My partner and I, we always buy with the minimum amount of money to put down the property. Why is that? Because the less amount of money that we put on a deal, the better our cash on cash return. You guys say, oh, what do you mean by that? Well, it's very simple. If I put $5,000 and I make 5,000, my cash on cash return is 100%, do we agree? But if the same property, I put 10,000 and I make five, I get a 5% cash on cash return. If I put 20 and I make five, my cash on cash return is 25%. You understand that, Mr. Real Estate Agent? Now, now let me ask you a question. Wouldn't you rather have me buy four properties from you than just to buy one. So what do you mean? Well, it's simple. If I buy one and I put five and I make five, I'm breaking even. Do we agree? Or am I getting my money back? Now I have $20,000 to spend. So every property you're going to find me where I put the least amount of my cash, I will have more cash available for me to buy more properties. So if you're smart, which I believe you are smart, you understand that, first of all, the lower my cash on the property, the better my cash on cash return. The more cash I keep in my pocket, the more chances of me being able to buy more properties, which may in turn make you more money. Do you understand that, Mr. Real Estate Agent? And then suddenly you got the guy working for you says, oh God, yeah, this guy has 100,000. If I could find him 10 deals at 10,000, I'll make 10 commission versus only making one. So now he's going to start working for you. It's as simple as that. You see, in real estate, you need to know the answers or the 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 debate, the, uh, the objection that you're going to receive, and you need to pre-frame that. You need to know that these objections are going to come in, and you need to be able to answer them even before they come up. And I call this pre-framing. Talk to you in the next section, guys. Talk to you soon.